In the third part of curve sketching, we have concavity of functions. We have two kinds of concavities. The first one is concave up. The second one is concave down. f of x is concave up on an open interval i if all of the tangents to the curve on this interval are below the graph of f. Look at the first figure, the, the first graph. As you see, all tangents are below to the curve, right? This is why the first one is called concave up. And we say that f of x is concave down on an open interval i if all of the tangents to the curve on i are above the graph of f. Look at the second graph now. As you see, all tangents are above the graph, right? This is why the second graph is called concave down. We have an alternative definition for concavity. We say f of x is concave up on an open interval i if f prime is increasing and it is concave down if f prime is decreasing. So we check f prime. This is the graph of x cube, the function, the famous function x cube. As you see, f prime from 0 to infinity, this is the point 0, from 0 to infinity, what is f prime? f prime is a slope of a tangent line, right? Okay, this is f prime, for instance, this is f prime at the given interval, at the given point, this is another f prime, right? So we have many f primes, and as you see, from zero to infinity, f prime increases, right? Increases. How do we understand this increases? Since from zero to infinity, f prime, let's say the slope becomes steeper and steeper, right? The slope becomes steeper and steeper. This is why we say f prime increases. From minus infinity to zero, to the point zero, as you see, this is a tangent line to the curve at this point, for instance, another tangent line, another tangent line. As you see, here f prime decreases. What is the reason? As you see, the slope, the steepness of the slope, the steepness of the slope from minus infinity to the point zero decreases. Since the steepness decreases, f prime decreases. So we say that from infinity to the point zero, this function is concave down since f prime decreases from zero to infinity this is concave up since f prime increases okay it's all alternative definition of concavity we also have a test to understand whether a given function is concave up or down on a given interval let's say y equals f of x is twice differentiable function on an open interval i again we say that it is concave up on this interval if f double prime the sine of f double prime is positive if the sine of f double prime is negative then we say the function is concave down Right? This is down, not up anymore. Okay, this is all. Actually, if you look at the alternative definition of concavity, you see that they are actually related. If f prime is increasing, it means f double prime is positive, right? So in this case, the function is concave up. 
if f prime is decreasing in this case you say f double prime is the sine of f double prime must be negative so this is all we have another definition which is called inflection point a point inflection now i want to explain the, the idea of inflection point a point where the graph of a function has a tangent line is the first condition and where the concavity of the function changes and if you have this kind of point this is called inflection point okay so let me explain uh, in other words a point on a curve where y double prime okay is positive on one side and negative on the other side is called point of inflection so to find inflection points find any point c in the domain of course it must be in the domain where f double prime is zero or f double prime is undefined so let's look at this example x to the power four what do we need we need its second derivative second derivative of this polynomial function is 12 x square right and as you see second derivative is equal to zero when x is equal to zero right so can we say that this point is an inflection point no we cannot say it is inflection point since y the sine of y double prime does not change the sine of y double prime does not change at x equals zero this is why x equals zero cannot be an inflection point for this function okay so it is all uh, let me have another example let's have this function now x to the power 1 over 3 and its second derivative is minus 2 over 9 times x to the power minus 5 over 3 okay as you see we don't have any number that makes y double prime 0 but we have a value that makes y double prime undefined since x equals 0 makes y double prime undefined it is a inflection point right in this example we see that inflection points can also occur where there is no a second derivative and we also see from the first example that uh, a zero second derivative does not always produce an inflection point as you see for this function for the function x to the power 4 we have a second derivative and we have a point that makes second derivative zero but this point is not an inflection point since the sign of second derivative does not change okay so let's continue with another example the function sine x and this is the graph of the function sine x okay uh, let's look at some points let's first focus on uh, extrema uh, of sine x uh, so how do we find extrema of a function we check the sine of f prime right the sine of f prime if the sign change if the sign of f prime changes at a point then we say that point is uh, a critical point and maybe it is an extreme of a function now let's look at this function this uh, point for instance at this point as you see the graph of 
y is cosine function and this is the graph of cosine this is the graph of cosine here right from here from here to here right y prime increases right y prime increases so according to alternative definition of concavity since y prime increases we say that we say that sine function is concave up so y is concave up on this interval okay from this point from this point to this point to zero okay so let's check the function again from the point zero to this point as you see y prime the function y prime decreases right y prime decreases according to alternative definition of concavity since y prime decreases y is concave down on this interval so we understand from the alternative definition of concavity we also have a test second derivative test to find the concavity of the function second derivative test tells us that check the sine of f double prime if the sine of f double prime is positive then the function is concave up on that interval so we have the we have second derivative of the function and we have the graph of second derivative of the function this is the graph okay so as you see on which interval y double prime on which interval y double prime the sine of y double prime is positive as you see from here from here let's say from here to zero the sine of y double prime is positive right so this is why on this interval the function is concave up from second derivative test since y double prime the sine of y double prime is positive from zero to this point since the sine of y double prime is negative the function is concave down so we guarantee that the function is concave up on this interval and this is concave down on this interval okay so i think it's a nice example to understand the concept of concavity i want to give a shortcut to you to solve the curve sketching problems very easily let's say the sine of f prime is positive and the sine of f prime is negative here okay let's also say the sine of f double prime is positive the sine of f double prime is negative if the sine of f prime is positive and sine of f double prime is also positive then the curve will be something like this okay if the if f prime is negative but f double prime is positive the f, what's the meaning of f prime is negative it means the function decreases what's the meaning of f double prime is positive it means the function is concave up decreases but still up okay you have something like this so for this part what do we have the function increases the function increases but it is concave down increases but down okay for here the function the function decreases and this is concave down 
the function is decreases something you have a piece of curve something like this this all